Hey Collective, welcome back to the channel. This is Heart to Heart with Holy Spirit. I'm so happy to be back in the presence of you guys. Thank you so much for tapping in, fam. I appreciate all of you. To my new subscribers, welcome to the channel. I'm so happy to have you. Okay, I've already meditated over the energies. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do a love energy check-in just to see where you guys are for the week. And let's see what Spirit has for you, okay? All right, Holy Spirit, what is the love energy check-in for the collective? Anything that could be a catalyst for a movement on their spiritual path and journey, what do you need them to know? Messages of clarity and truth. Collective, I may say, he, she, male, female, divine, feminine, divine, masculine, take it where it resonates. Energies are fluid and interchangeable. If you resonate with the message, all is well. If you don't, please do not make the story fit. It's not your story, okay? Let's go ahead and get started, Holy Spirit. This is just a clarity and truth. All right. You got divine timing. Okay. Spirit is saying pertaining to love, things are going to come right on time whenever spirit wants them to. Spirit is saying that you guys may be, you know, looking at certain people on social media or something like that, taking trips, hooking up, you know, possible love connections that you may see, couple goals or something like that on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, the spirit is saying, don't worry, don't look at those relationships. Things are going to come to you in divine timing. This love, okay? What else? Yeah, spirit is saying this love, exactly, relationship. Spirit is saying in divine timing, a new relationship, new love is going to come your way. For some of you guys, you're going to be dating. You're going to have multiple options. Spirit is saying for some of you, these options and dates that you take are going to lead you to your divine partner you're going to wind up taking risk on people or you're going to wind up taking risk on those that are going to lead to marriage but you're going to use your discernment and you're going to use your intuition and know who your divine partner is for your life what else holy spirit spirit is saying right now you're in a mindset in a position of healing spirit is saying right now you're letting old baggage go you are meditating you're praying right now you're discerning you're using your intuition and you're asking god what does he want you to do what issues in your old behaviors that need to be addressed spirit is saying right now you want to be completely healed before you take that leap of faith to date you know because you know you want to be ready for your divine partner you want you know you want it to lead to marriage okay for some of you, you're single, newly single, just got out of an old relationship. Spirit is saying that right now it's going to come right on time. Yeah, Spirit is saying surrender to the process. Spirit is saying that you need to listen, open up. You know, for a lot of you guys, I said you are healing. You know, Spirit is saying right now, you know, you have a whole family dynamic. You know, you are in the position where you're listening to your family, friends, possibly, um, Spirit is saying for some of you, you're just newly single and you're just having situationships. But Spirit is saying that you need to use your intuition toward those type of situationships. Are they going to lead to marriage? Are they going to lead to commitment? Spirit is saying if some of you guys are having these hookups, what is it going to do to get you to this family dynamic? You need to put that into perspective as well. Don't interrupt your healing by distracting yourself with people that don't serve you okay spirit is saying that you need to be patient with yourself spirit is saying don't allow your judgment to be clouded okay because you're afraid what else Ooh. yeah see new love that's what i'm talking about new love is coming your way what else yeah, Spirit is saying for, for some of you, this new love that's coming your way is going to be a faded meeting, an unexpected meeting. For some of you guys, you could be meeting in a weird place, like on a train or at a store or something like that. But Spirit is saying that this person is going to come towards you and you're not going to understand how you guys linked up, but it's going to be very unexpected. Spirit is saying for some of you, this person is a secret crush of yours that you didn't know had a crush on you. But this person wants to balance things out with you because they want an opportunity to date you or they want an opportunity to start a new relationship or be a love interest of yours okay okay let's see let's go ahead and clarify holy spirit tell me about divine timing tell me about divine timing why is divine timing here oh it's too many holy spirit can we narrow this down divine timing why is divine timing here total connection okay Spirit is saying that he's bringing this, this like-minded individual into your life. You're going to resonate with this person. You're going to be compatible on all levels in personality. You're going to have a lot of things in common uh, spiritually. 
and uh, mentally and in all areas spirit is saying that this is going to be this is going to be a healthy attachment a healthy relationship a new perspective spirit is also saying that if you're worried about intimacy issues if this person is sexually compatible to you as well this person is going to meet you on that level as well all right spirit is saying you need to focus on your core values of what you want in a new relationship tell me about relationship thank you all right, Spirit is saying that it came out in reverse. So it says reunited, good chance of getting back together or back together, things flowing well. Again, Spirit is saying that for some of you, those old energies of the past are going to try to come back into your energy, wanting to get back with you. Spirit is saying you need to realize and remember why you released those old energies of the past, why you broke up, why you separated. Okay, you need to gain perspective, use your discernment. Do you really need to be with that person or do you need to let that person go? All right. Tell me about healing. Spirit is saying that person is an ex for a reason. You got expectations. Confirm what you want. The same things. Prioritize the relationship. Expectation yields and result. It came out in reverse. So spirit is saying that while you're in this healing process, you need to put more things into perspective. What do you want? What don't you want? What serves you? What type of vibration do you want your person to be in? Spirit said that's the truth. I got the confirmation in the background. All right. Spirit is saying that you need to raise your, your expectations. You need to raise your values. Think about what you want in a relationship, what you deserve. Deserve. Tell me about surrender. Getting rid of the old and bringing in the new. Abandonment. All right, so you have abandonment issues are affecting relationships ghosting forgive especially yourself so for some of you spirit is saying that you know you have old baggage and it has something to do with abandonment maybe you guys have mother issues or father issues that happen or maybe people started relationships with you and then ended those relationships quickly spirit is saying that he's going to heal your heart when it comes to those things of the past you're going to be renewed okay i just said baggage is on the bottom of the deck you guys baggage and dating spirit is saying that baggage is going to be released all right spirit is saying you're healing you're manifesting tell me about new love yeah i just said come on spirit i said you are you guys are healing you're meditating you're praying spirit is saying you're you're using your intuition constantly and on a daily you're finding your inner peace you're grounding yourself okay spirit is saying that you're gaining your, your balance all right because you're focusing on you, what you want in a partner for some of you guys, those old energies are missing you. They're trying to tug at your old energy energetically. For some of you, you can still feel those old partners. The spirit is saying, let go of things that don't serve you. Tell me about faded meeting. Yeah, you're making new investments. Okay, spirit is saying this person that may come into your life, if you meet in a crazy place, it's faded, okay? But this person could be the one that's walking into your life, all right? You may have an emotional investment in them. You're getting to know them. For some of you, you met this person already. Spirit is saying that you need to take the leap of faith. Really get to know this person and what they want as well. See if this person is an energetic match for you, okay? If they're on your level and vice versa, okay? Because it's not one-sided. Holy Spirit, let's talk about it. Tell me a little bit more about this energy for the love energy check-in for the collective what else do they need to know power couple come on spirit is saying right now the investments that you're making with these faded people that you've met or this faded person that you've met collective this may be a strong relationship a successful one you guys are going to be the yin and yang this may be your divine partner you're going to be a power couple a couple of mission you know a couple that attracts the right people a couple that is inspiring a, a couple that inspires other couples to get in alignment with their path okay higher purpose y'all can't make this up spirit is saying that these people that you're meeting you know is for your greater good okay this person is going to be very mature this person is going to be of high value spirit is saying that this is a whole spiritual lesson that you are learning and spirit is saying that this person is coming in full of love okay they're going to be devoted to you okay they're going to give you emotional fulfillment what else 
Yeah, spirit is saying that you're very aware, you're very confident right now. This person that is coming into your life or this person that you just had this faded meeting with and possibly is new, this person is very aware as well. This person is going to be whole. They understand that they're perfectly imperfect, but they're perfect for you, collective. They're going to love you wholeheartedly. Come on, I love you. I can't make this up. This person is going to be the one. Spirit is saying also put yourself first, okay? Focus on you. You need to do a lot of self-care as well. Don't lose yourself in this person. This is a dream come true, a goal that you wanted to be a power couple eventually in your life. You wanted to attain high vibrational relationship. But Spirit is saying that you need to make sure that you do a lot of discernment. Keep your core value of putting yourself first as well. But also put those values into your new relationship as well. You need to strive for having a productive relationship, date in reverse. Spirit is saying that for some of you, this dating process is now over or going to be over soon because you found the one that's coming into your life. Spirit is saying that you're going to be uh, interested in this person and this person only because it's going to be clear to you that they're the one. Let me get one more. You got running and you got karmic relationships. Spirit is saying that you guys are running from old karmic relationships. Spirit is saying that you're letting go of the old low vibrational energies that are still tugging at you energetically. And you're letting those past people go and going for people that serve your greater good and your highest purpose. Okay, let me go ahead and get you some advice. All right. Spirit is saying that you're putting distance between those old karmic partners. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what's the message? Just tell me about the, the advice that you have for the collective, for the love energy check-in. Tell me about it, Holy Spirit. Tell me about it, Holy Spirit. What do you need the collective to know? Messages of clarity and truth for the love energy check-in. It says surrender to rest and sleep to prevent burnout. Slow down under your need for quiet time and peaceful sleep to rejuvenate your mind, body and spirit. Spirit is saying that you guys need to take care of yourselves in this process. OK, if new love has come your way, keep your focus on yourself as well. You know, yeah, you're supposed to approach this partner wholeheartedly. Yeah, you're supposed to go into this relationship and really equally give and equally take and vice versa. But spirit is saying that also you need to re juvenate yourself you need to make sure that you take care of yourself in the process spirit is saying don't overthink this yeah come on now spirit is saying release unhealthy relationships people that don't serve you people that are unavailable and toxic spirit is saying you also are in this healing process and you need to rejuvenate yourself because old energies are still trying to pull at your energy Okay, Spirit is saying focus on the positive, this new person, this new person that you possibly have met already. Okay, Spirit is saying you have to give them a chance by not focusing on the old, but focusing on the new. Balance yourself, ground yourself, all right? I hope this message brought you a lot of messages and guidance and clarity. I love you guys. I'll see you in the next reading. Make sure you like the video, share if you would like, and also click the notification bell if you want to be notified on when I make a post. I love you. I'll see you guys soon. Be blessed. Bye.